here is the um, anatomy of the cerebellum. So it's made of the two uh, cerebellar hemispheres. And it's connected here in the midline by the vermis. Uh, we can also see some other structures here like a cerebellar peduncle. So there's three of them. This is superior. This is the middle and this is the inferior uh, cerebellar peduncles and they are connecting cerebellum with the uh, brain stem. You also see a, a lobe of the cerebellum, this is called flocculonodular lobe. So this is the flocculus, one on each side and the nodule is in the middle. Um, also the cerebellum is made of the uh, anterior lobe and the posterior lobe. So this is the posterior lobe and this is the anterior lobe, this area. And the tonsil is located um, um, in the lower part of the anterior lobe. This is the, uh, I mean the lower part of um, uh, posterior tonsil in the anterior view. This is what I meant. Um, so uh, this is the superior view and uh, here again it looks like a butterfly so in the middle you have the vermis and on each side you have the cerebral hemispheres and you can see the two lobes here so this is the anterior lobe uh, this is the primary fissure uh, that's separating the anterior lobe from the posterior lobe so this whole area is the posterior lobe also you see these folds so these folds are called folia F-O-L-I-A, uh, folium is the singular form, and um, the darker lines that you see, these are the sulcus, each one is a sulcus. Uh, this um, image is showing different uh, lobes of the cerebellum, so this is the anterior lobe, uh, and this is the smaller one, this is the flocculonodular lobe, and the big one is the posterior lobe. So the, the, from the superior view, you see the anterior lobe, uh, which is smaller, and the posterior lobe, which is really big, but uh, you cannot see the flocculonodular lobe. Uh, so this image is talking about a couple of uh, other things that was not in the previous image. Uh, one is the different zones of the cerebellum. So um, this is a vermis zone, or uh, vermis. Uh, so the vermis contains the lingula superiorly and uvula inferiorly. There is a paravermal zone which is close to the vermis. Uh, it is um, uh, between the vermis and the lateral zone. So this is the lateral zone which is the biggest zone. So this is a more a functional uh, classification of the cerebellum. Also, you see the, the, the lobes, so there's three zones and there's three lobes here. This is the anterior lobe, and it is separated from the posterior lobe by the uh, primary fissure. And this is the posterior lobe. Posterior lobe also contains the horizontal uh, fissure. And there is another lobe here, this is called the flocculonodular lobe, uh, which contains the nodules or nodule and the flocculus on each side and it is separated from the rest of the cerebellum especially posterior um, lobe uh, with the posterior lateral uh, fissure but it still is connected to the uh, cerebellum uh, this is an image of the cerebellum so an histology of it um, this is the fourth ventricle and this is the brain stem and you can see the different nuclei are there in the cerebellum. Um, so this is the uh, fastigial nucleus. And this is the globus, uh, globus nucleus. And this is the uh, emboliform nucleus. And this thing that you see, the big one, is the dentate nucleus. Uh, so there is a mnemonic, if you want to remember, uh, for this, uh, these nuclei. Don't eat uh, greasy food. I don't know if you like this. I don't care much about the mnemonics, but some students like that. So if you want to know, don't eat greasy food. Especially